Hi everyone, this is Stephen McAnall and I'm a professional photographer out of Great Bend, Kansas. Today I'm going to show you how to get that matte finish to your images using the tone curve panel. Okay, I'm going to real quickly just show you a few photos I've used this technique on. Uh, it really softens up the image and just gives it a real pleasing feel. Uh, this was a senior photo that I used it on. And then this is the inside of a grain elevator, kind of an artistic shot, but I thought a little bit of that matte finish would kind of be the finishing touches on it. And then I've got uh, newborn photography. It's really good for newborn photography. I mean, you want that baby to be soft and precious and new to the world. And as you can see, you know, this area here was a black backdrop, but the blacks are not quite as deep as they normally would be. It just kind of softens it up. And this is how it would be if you were to actually print a photo on matte paper that you hadn't done this technique to. So real quickly, let's go ahead. I'm going to minimize this window and we're going to go into Aurora HDR by Mac Fun. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to get this effect. This is an image that I've taken up to the point where I want to apply that effect. It was an HDR image that was actually processed in Aurora HDR. Um, but we're going to use Aurora just to do some regular image editing. You can, you know, a lot of people think maybe that this is just an HDR program, but it's a full blown photo editor. It's got pretty much any control that you would need here to adjust an image. And so we're going to go to the tone curve. And what I like to do, I like to put a point here and a point here, and you might see a few changes in the images as I'm bumping it because I'm trying to straighten this line out. But we're going to create what is commonly known as an S curve. What you do is you drag this point down just a little bit, and a little goes a long ways with this. And then I'm going to bump up this bottom point. This is our black point in the photo. And what that does, if you look at our histogram here, is when I move that, you can see that it starts moving this direction. And that's because we're losing our blacks and you can see that it's fading this image more and more. Now, I tend to not go too overboard with this because you can stack multiple versions of this on top of each other if you want to get a more dramatic effect. So we're going to just pull up this like this, pull this one up just a little bit and this one down just a little bit. This one here will actually kind of dampen our highlights just a little bit. Now, if you feel you're getting too much contrast and you're wanting more of a matte look, you can take this little point right here and you just kind of pull it back. You're going to lose a little bit of your brightness here by doing that. So you can compensate by bringing this point back up. It's basically a, uh, you know, a to taste kind of a thing. So everybody's going to have a little bit of different preference on how muted or matted they want this image. Like to me, that looks fairly matte. So if I click on the quick preview tab up here, you can see where we were. And then when I let go, there's the more matte looking finish. So now that we're done with the matte look that we wanted to achieve, if we want to create a preset so that we can do this again, we can go down here to the preset panel. If I click presets, you'll see that it pops up here and we've got all these presets that are already loaded into Aurora HDR. I'm going to go to my user panel so we can see just the ones that we're creating right now. I'm going to hit the plus symbol and I'm just going to create a preset called matte. Actually, let's, let's call it silky matte. And I'm going to hit enter and it will create a new preset down here. And now I've got a slider on this preset that I can pull back and forth and actually change the intensity. So you, you've got it at full strength here where it created it. This was the final product before we created the preset. Now I can dial that back a little bit if I feel like it's too strong. Um, and then another thing you can do is you can stack multiple versions of this. So I could go up here and click layer again and simply go down here and click on my silky matte preset and it will double that effect. And if I wanted to, you know, dial it in just a little bit more, say that was the finished product that I wanted. There we go. And then you've always got the option of if, if the matte kind of dampened it a little too much on the highlight end or the brightness, like I can just go over here to smart tone and bring this up a little bit. Okay. So let's look at where we were before this. If I click on the quick preview icon, that's where we were when the photo was first brought in before we made any changes. And then here is our end result.
My name is Stephen Mackinall, and I will see you on the next MacFun tutorial.